been having a lot of fun lately in the shop. And going to start a new experience with the VTL, vertical turning lathe. And I thought it'd be fun to record the process, set up process of getting it prepped for the work that we're going to be doing on it. Um, getting into the shop here. Got to make sure you got that breakfast of champions. Straight coffee. And I really just want to document... Um, my journey with it. Um, it's new to me. I haven't worked on uh, VTL before. I'm focus on mills. It's a little bit of lathes, but here you can see this is our our new Mighty Viper, and it turns 63 inches in diameter. And for what we're doing. Or the work we want to get into um, it was a good addition to our shop and I want to show how we got this fixture plate on here we purchased this stock piece of material um, got it flame cut to just over 63 inches the table itself is uh, 45 uh, in diameter and I'm going to walk through the, the process here kind of show you so here's the, the bare table. It has slots for a four jaw, but we're gonna be using the T slots. And just grease it up. Don't want any uh, rust buildup. And uh, obviously this plate had mill scale on it on both sides. So we got it blanched ground, uh, clean it up and get a flat side for the table. Um, we're gonna turn it later on. But you can see we have two bolts ready to go. We pre-machined two holes before we sent it to grind uh, just so we have a starting point to mount onto the machine and then we'll be adding additional holes to further clamp the fixture plate uh, to the table so here I'm just aligning those two holes to the, the screw I set the bolts um, in a rough position um, that we had drawn out um, you know in the computer so pretty happy I got that within 15 minutes of uh, kind of lining it up there and just going to do a rough indication using a piece of wood here um, and a hammer don't want to strike the hammer directly onto the plate but um, just gonna you know take my time and uh, want to get it you know as close as I can like I said we're turning it uh, but you can see I got it pretty close here within about three, three and a half thou. Um, and so just going to tighten those two bolts down and get it ready to pop the remaining holes. There's going to be a total of 12, 12 bolts uh, holding this plate down. We really want to secure it to the table. This is what's going to be uh, obviously what our parts are going to be resting on. Um, so we want to make it one with the machine itself um, and so here I have the clearance uh, clearance drill for uh, three quarter ten bolts and you can see this is the the nuts the flange nuts that are going to be um, under the t-slot and I'm just kind of showing what it would look like the spacing so three bolts within each slot and there's four slots So just drilling that clearance hole again. Um, this is an inch and a half plate. Um, so I obviously zeroed out once my drill touched and um, I know how far I'm going. I indicated the slot itself before uh, doing this. So I know what, where my slots are underneath the table. And I know what, you know, when I rotate to my 90, 180 and 270. I'll know that I'm not drilling <laughs> directly into the table. And you can see you got a nice clean hole next to our pre-drilled and just gonna finish popping the holes in. And then we'll do the counter bores for the bolts themselves. So just making sure. Fits nicely through there. 
Now our bolts. Uh, we've all been there. You know, we got to work with what we got sometimes. Um, and it was no trouble for me to do this. But uh, and you can see I'm machining the head of the bolt down. And this is because the biggest tool we had to make the counterbores was a an inch and one sixteenth, I believe, the uh, end mill. The the head of the bolt was an inch one hundred thousandths. So I want to machine this down and just using our CNC lathe here, just kind of chucked it up. It, it's it's set up for something else, but. I had room in the back jaws to spore rough diameter, chuck it up and turn down a little bit. And it's not too much. Um, so I'm not concerned about losing that little bit. And I did have to cut them shorter because unfortunately we ordered them um, a bit too long. So. Obviously, that math got messed up somewhere, but a uh, quick fix. And here's that that mill, counterbore mill they're going to be using. And it's just a high speed still for a fluid end mill, so um, not getting too crazy. See, it gets real stringy with the chips, but it does a job. Bolt fits in there nicely. And I'm going to finish up all the counter bores um, and get all the holes in. So you can see, got it all done, got the bolts in there. And I lined up my, my nuts under and this is, uh, the, you know, kind of the cool part of getting onto the table. And, of course, the GoPro decided to die. So, moving on. Now, we, uh, I, I did get it bolted, <laughs> all bolted down evenly to the table. And just getting our, our, insert, our insert holder here into the turning holder. Um, just a quick little montage of putting the, the insert in there and you know just a quick facing program uh, nothing too crazy obviously for the capabilities of this machine but uh, just want to get it obviously the the plate squared to the machine and and uh, get it ready for for fixturing you know fixturing up our parts So that was the basic process of getting that plate onto our new machine here and um, it was fun, simple, you know, kind of starting the journey and here's my attempt at trying to get a thumbnail. Hey bro, you want to like smile or something? But anyways, uh, got some fun stuff coming up and hope to show you guys some more cool stuff happening in the shop.